You know, um, the Justine project that we workshop today here at iDocs, we, we, talk, we talked a lot about consent, but consent is only the tip of the iceberg in relationship to an ethical documentary practice. An ethical documentary practice acknowledges that power is always live and in fact is a significant part of the documentary project every documentary project, you won't ever make power go away. And in fact, the movement of power, which can be in a flow, um, in the documentary scene is very interesting. It stands in for the movement of power more broadly in the society. But to make it an ethical documentary project, people need to enter knowing and having some agency in relationship to that. So collaboration has historically been one choice that ethical documentarians have made, one of many, to begin to share power in the documentary space um, and to imagine what it would look like for some of the power which is produced by the documentarian being distanced and far away and different from his subject, um, what happens if that begins to be shared? So that the camera itself might move or the voice of the filmmaker might, or the face of the filmmaker might become present or people would decide together what is important.